here's what's known as the super block of Myrtle Beach. This is some of the oldest parts of it. And these few buildings here, some of the original, uh, what they used to call Newtown. Uh, Conway was the main seat of government back in the early 18, or late 1800s, early 1900s. And this is where some of the first businesses that were developed in what became Myrtle Beach, they started calling it Newtown. This whole block apparently has been bought up by the city of Myrtle Beach and is going to be torn down and redeveloped into uh, several different things from what I understand, a children's museum and some other things. There's been some issues here over the last few months. And this empty space in front of you is what used to be where the pavilion was. Back in the 40s it was a big entertainment complex, rides for the kids and so forth. And it was still here when I moved here. It's only been torn down in the last six years, six or seven years now. They've got a zip line ride going over towards the beach. And the beach itself. And again, some of these businesses that used to be here along the sides are all torn down. And the zip line is something that's just brand new in the last few years that they put in. This is the business center team running through Myrtle Beach. This is what you used to have to compete with traffic-wise to get around before they built the bypass and then finally Highway 31. And again, this is the empty pavilion property. Uh, entertained several generations of family over the years. We got to go on a few rides right before they closed it after Rochelle got here. And there's the other side of the And again, we've got the Atlantic Ocean. And this is the boulevard coming up, Ocean Boulevard. And there's the new sky wheel. And this is where the rest of the pavilion used to be. And again, as you can see, there's the, the sky wheel. The new attraction we have here in Myrtle Beach. And there's the ocean that everybody comes here for. And we're gonna go down and walk through part of the downtown part of the boulevard where all the little stores and shops and attractions are to let y'all see some of that. We'll just be pausing and start and stopping the video in different spots so you all get a look at it. Okay, so we showed you Ripley's Aquarium over at Broadway at the beach 
And now here's their, believe it or not, auditorium. And this is some of the original part of Myrtle Beach. From what I understand, the Bowery is a place where some of the famous guys, I think, uh, I think it's the Oak Ridge Boys in Alabama and some other guys, groups like that, got their start here. Because this, this has been going on since, again, the late 40s, mid to late 40s. But this is the main strip of all the stores and stuff here on the boulevard down in Myrtle Beach. See, those are all new stores there, past the Bowery. They used to dead end with the Bowery. And same thing as in the other locations where we showed you. In the summertime, I would be squeezing my way through here. I wouldn't be able to walk very easily, and I sure wouldn't be shooting film like this without bumping into other people constantly because it'd be sidewalks. It gets where people are actually out here in the road walking in the street because there's not enough room on the sidewalk for everyone. And we have just gift shops and beachwear stores and game parlors and that's the bulk of all you find here in the very downtown part of Myrtle Beach. Old timey photos. Places for the kids to have fun playing games. Beachwear stores to get t shirts, hairbrush. Lots of little places to get funnel cakes and ice cream. Boardwalk Pancake General Store. Well, this would be the heart of Colonel Beach. Got a mirror maze. On it, how? Gay Dolphin, this has been one of the longest staying gift shops that there has been here in Myrtle Beach. This one again has been here since the 40s. Ice creamery. And another grill. Combination of food. And we come to the boardwalk. And we'll stop and look inside a couple places.